Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and we are back in the land of the Pope, man. This is episode 35. Wow. And we're in Great War number four. It actually took a while to kick off. I was hoping it would kick in maybe 10 years ago or maybe five years ago, but it just didn't happen uh, until, until now. Finally, we had the right circumstances for a Great War. Switzerland's in on our side, Spain's on our side, Germany's on our side. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty one-sided affair. Germany's sieging up the Netherlands. Uh, Germany and Switzerland are invading Russia, which is hilarious. Look at Switzerland over here just doing, doing a man's work. Wow. Go Switzerland. No wonder they were a great power for a while. Switzerland has demanded that Russia freeze Finland, so I'll make sure uh, that that gets done in the peace deal. Yeah, he won't even take... Russia won't even take a white piece at this point. So we're going to have to beat up Russia for a bit. Uh, and France, I think we're going to add the war goal to take Picardy, which is a very odd decision. Um, but it is a very highly populated state. And it has decent factory presence. So I think that's a good good target for us. Uh, it's unconnected land, and I, I will apologize. The borders will not look very good after this, unless we can get Champagne. If we can get Champagne in a later war, then it would link up. And that would be fine. It would be really weird, but fine. Uh, but yeah, why don't we go ahead and add that war goal for Picardy. There we go. 30 war score. All right. Yay! And we're still under the infamy, infamy limit because great wars, uh, the infamy you get for demands is much lower than normal. I think it's 30% or 25% of normal. It's pretty cheap. Oh, wow. There's an international crisis over the Ottoman Aegean Islands. Greece wants their Aegean Islands back. And I can't help the Ottomans because we're in a war. Damn it, Ottomans. If only you joined my war, then I could help you. Oh, shit. I forgot I have troops over here. <laughs> I was supposed to invade somebody. Nobody's backing Greece. Nobody's backing the Ottomans. It's not going to be a great... It's not going to be a crisis. Yeah, there was no crisis. It's not going to be a crisis if no one backs anyone. Conservatives gain militancy. Liberals gain... I think liberals gain militancy is fine. So we are discussing what kind of army composition we should have um, between episodes. We took quite a while to talk about it. And it seems that uh, the best we can do is to have lots of tanks, lots of uh, airplanes, and some cannons. Apparently soldiers are useless. I mean, shit, that's, that's weird. But definitely get rid of the cavalry. And I, I agree, the cavalry is kind of outdated at this point. Tanks are supposed to uh, take their place. Tanks and airplanes. Ah, Germany wants French Comte. No, no, just dismantle constructions. Oh, okay. Dismantle constructions, maybe. We'll talk about it. All right, we're done with that. And that was the war goal, so we're going to get ticking war score for that. Uh, I mean, the war is, you know, pretty much over at this point. Propose peace. Let's see. I want those, and I don't want any of those. Oh, it's only 76. Wow, we're actually not demanding very much. Finland gets free. We get Picardy, and we get the French Aegean Islands. That's all I want. But he's not yet willing to accept that. Hmm. Okay. Soon enough, France. Soon enough you will bow to our might. Oh, yeah. Influence. I might want to keep up on influence, huh? I think it's still okay. Ah, Romania wants to be friends. Ah, we, we just peaced out Romania. We were at war earlier. He declared war on my, on my sphere buddy, the Ottomans. And now he wants to be buds. No, yeah, maybe. Maybe we can be friends. Hey, the Ottomans declared war on Russia. Now we're talking. So he won't join my war, but he'll declare a separate war. Uh, let's see who joins. Everyone joined. Britain, Russia, France. Ottomans, you could be in for a lot of pain. What did you declare for? Georgia? Uh, yep, Georgia. Figures. Figures. Called it! No, oh, hold on. Britain has access. Hey, Britain, guess what? No more military access for you. Get out of here, Britain. France wants peace. Let's see. French Aegean Islands. French Picardy. Finland acquires states. Hey, that's what we asked for. French Aegean. P 
Picardy and Finley Clark. Now, if we peace out, this means the Ottomans are going to be stuck in their war for a while, and I can't help them. And I think that's pretty shitty if I do that. But you know what? I could care less about the Ottomans, really. Uh, Spain isn't going to get anything out of this, which is kind of sad. And Germany's not going to get anything. I don't care if Germany gets anything. I really don't. Um, Germany is strong enough. Oh, wow, we're at 100%. Holy shit. Dismantle constructions, dismantle constructions. Yeah, sure. Okay, peace. Done. Yay, Picardy. Beautiful. All right. Expand the forts. So what kind of factories do we get in Picardy? Let's see. Picardy, 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 Picardy. Oh, really? They have like no factories. God damn it. Y'all were wrong when you said to go for Picardy. Wow, although there are 87,000 unemployed craftsmen, leads me to believe that they used to have factories there, and they no longer do. Wow. Okay, well, let's get some electric gears, some fuel, some oil, some machine parts, and some radios. Wow. Well, yeah, they have tons of unemployed craftsmen, so it looks like all the factories were destroyed, unfortunately. What a waste. What a waste. All right, everybody go home. Hooray, we win. All right, get out of there. Do I have any armies anywhere else? Oh, right, these guys. Go home. Go home. Hey, Gene Islands, hello. There's no forts here, because forts are for pansies, right? Oh, it's actually almost a state. We should make it a state. Yeah, we really should. Can I steal from you? 50% craftsman, that's pretty good. Can I steal from you and uh, turn this into immigration, maybe? Sure. Go for it. All right, go drop them off. Oh, we need to get our dudes out of here as well. Oh, I think we already did. Yeah, we already left there. Okay. Hunt rebels. Hunt rebels. And let's take a look at the new nation of Finland. Hey, hello, Finland. White. Nice color for you, Finland. Uh, most likely, Scandinavia is going to go annex him, because Scandinavia has cores all over. Mm-hmm. So, goodbye, Finland. It was nice knowing you. Every single one of your provinces, except right here, is cores of Sweden. Well, Scandinavia. So, goodbye, Finland. I'm not going to protect you or anything. How goes our influence? Portugal looks... Good. Turn that off. Algeria looks good. Turn that off. Spain looks okay. Switzerland looks okay. Although Germany is kind of nudging in. And the Ottomans look... Uh, I think we can focus on the Ottomans for now. And do you want that alliance yet, Algeria? No. Algeria won't take an alliance. Why? Negative 30. Our causus belly, negative 100. What the hell does our causus belly mean? Does he have a causus belly on me? Maybe? I don't think I can even check that. Hmm, I don't know. Oh well, that's fine. Everyone go home, the party's over. The gr fourth great war is finally over. Man, that really was a great war, wasn't it? That was amazing. It took us like no time at all. It's over. Germany got nothing. Well, that's not true. We did enforce his demands to dismantle fortifications. Ooh, firepower versus mobility. Infantry attack. Nice. Uh, let's delete all of our cav, because cav just... Sorry, cav, you are utterly useless. What about engineers? Are engineers good to have in the army? I thought they were useful. Guards and Cav, go away. Guards. Oh, there's no Cav in this army. Okay. Split in half. Maybe go to Turin. Yeah. Over there. 
go away. Okay. Split in half. Go to Venice. And you guys. Get rid of the guards. Get rid of the cav. Go away. Okay. Oh, where's my Tunisian army? Hmm? I honestly don't know. Alright, look. You're now my Tunisian army. Congratulations on being promoted. And you guys... No, I think you can stay there. But I'm going to get rid of this cav. And the guards. In fact, uh, let's merge these armies. Because it looks like we're going to have a lot of free spots. Thanks to cav and guard going away. Goodbye, cav and guard. Wow, there's like no army left after the cavern guard is deleted. Well, time to replace a bunch of our army, I guess. Asia. Asia. Primorie doesn't really have anything. Uh, what's down here? Group up, please. You have airplanes and infantry. That's fine. You have airplanes and infantry. Okay. Well, down here, nothing. Okay. Over here. Nothing. Alright, yeah. Time to replace armies. Good. Planes, first row. Artie, second row. Tanks. Tanks replace engineers? Really? Okay. Buy engineers. See? Then I'm learning. Tanks replace engineers. I thought tanks replace cavalry. Apparently that's airplanes replace cavalry. Goodness. The things you look the things you learn, right? Goodbye, engineers. Goodbye. No, 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 not, not you. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, you. And Cav. Goodbye, Cav. Engineers? Gone. Engineers? Gone. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the purge, and now we have to start replacing them. Oh, we should also get our uh, fleet home. I'll meet up over here, I guess. But you guys can purge as well. Goodbye, all of you. Okay, so that was a ton of units we just deleted, and that probably explains why our army sucked so bad. So what kind of composition do we want? We want regulars... Airplanes, let's get some more airplanes. Airplanes, airplanes, airplanes. Artillery, there we go. And tanks. Sounds good. So we'll do that. Airplanes, artillery, and tanks. See if that uh, comes up to a good composition. Yep, day one. Scandinavia declares war on Finland. Knew it. Called it, because Finland didn't start in anyone's sphere, so no one's going to protect them. And now the Ottomans are all alone in their war against Russia. Well, good luck, Ottomans. I don't think it's going to go very well for you, but good luck nonetheless. Um, influence. Do we really need to worry about the Ottomans? Probably not. Let me turn that off. And let's go dick around with Britain a little bit. Hey, Britain. Oh, right, New Zealand. I should probably do that. Uh, we could do Austria-Hungary, actually. You know what? Yeah, let's do Austria-Hungary. I'll do it with Britain later. Oh, New Zealand's not in our sphere. Oops. Why do that? Ooh, forward. Extra, extra. Grand strike in Rome. Workers demand higher wages. Extra, extra. Socialist newspaper. Whoa, really? Socialist. Hmm... prefer fascist, really, but whatever. Who am, I gonna, who am I to argue, right? Yeah, goodbye Finland. Exactly. Exactly. If Scandinavia won their war against France, Britain, and Russia at the same time, then they can definitely win their war against Finland. Get out of here, Britain. Britain wants access so we can go beat up the Ottomans. I don't want that. Oh, shit. Even 
Even Greece is in this war? Yep, Greece is allied to Russia. Well, poop. You only need one to three tanks and one to three planes per army. Well, what do you want in the army then if not planes and tanks? I thought you guys said to put planes and tanks in the army and now you're saying you don't need them. My god. Do you really know what you're talking about? What is supposed to be in the army if not planes and tanks? I just deleted everything else. Ah, oh, expelled from Hungary. Okay. Fair enough. Actually. No, they're getting more influence than we are. Darn it. Damn it, Germany. Portugal went bankrupt. Repay debts against our sphere buddy. No. <laughs> you have gained a cause of spelling against your vassal. No thanks. Oh god, Ottomans. There's no way the Ottomans can fight all this. They really did not choose wisely. They should have joined our war instead of starting their own damn war. Motherfucker. 15 reg, 3 artillery. Hold on. 15 regiments, 10 artillery, 3 tanks, and 3 planes. So no soldiers, just artillery, tanks, and planes. But mostly artillery. Okay. Interesting. artillery then. Banned from Austria-Hungary. Oh man. But mom, Austria-Hungary. Oh well. All right, oil-driven ships. Nice. We have finished uh, most of the stuff that matters. I think armament's probably going to be good for us too. Well, obviously. And yeah, there's no way the Ottomans are going to win this. Scandinavia is destroying Finland. 181 versus 1. Hmm. Ooh. Capitalists gain consciousness, but Eritrea gains life rating. Or, capitalists lose consciousness. No, I'm okay with capitalists getting some consciousness. Wow, the Ottomans are winning? 18%. They're winning battles. Really? Wow, go Ottomans. Holy shit, I did not expect them to win that. But they're winning because of battles. Okay. New Zealand will be in our sphere very soon. You guys are still my puppet, right? Yeah, they're still my puppet. Although they do have rebel problems. Anarcho-liberals. Hmm. You guys should build an army or something. Unfortunately, I can't invest in them, so... Hmm. I can't really help directly. Have some military access, New Zealand. You look like you could use it. What? Scandinavia white pieced Finland. They were absolutely destroying them. Why did you white piece? What? They were at like 90% war score and they white pieced. What? Scandinavia. What happened? What the fuck was that shit? I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, go Ottomans. Come on, win those battles. Oh, now they're losing battles. No, they finally found Britain's army, I bet. 
Nope. Russia's chasing him out. Look at this. Damn it, Russia. Yup. No? No, they might win this. Maybe. Nah, Russia has 50, 50k right there. No. It's over, Ottomans. Good try, good try. Scandinavia couldn't finish them. Oh man, the puns never end, do they? Wow. Canada has fallen great power to Poland! Poland great power! Oh man, go for it. Attack Russia. Do it, Poland. Do it. Do it now. Oh, by the way, let's have an alliance again. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god, Poland is a great power again. Alright, well if that's the case, then we should probably get Canada back in our sphere. And we never did, did we? Well, let's put them in our sphere for the first time. Come on, Canada. Join the club. Ottomans are just getting wrecked. They did so well when uh, Russia was distracted with our war, but now that our war is over, they're like, Ugh, what do we do? Britain's invading! Holy shit, we're about to pass 3,000 industry. Oh, right, and I need to click the button to upgrade all of our factories and shit. Forgot about that. Yep, Picardy has so many craftsmen just waiting to work. They need to finish those factories soon. And if we could get a different party in power, that'd be great. Oh my god, we're making 10,000 bucks a month. Wow, or a day. Alright, on the boat you go. Actually, group up our navy. On the boat you go. Group up. On the boat. Let's roll. To, Par or to Rome. To Paris. To Rome! Sort of like Paris, but green. That's, that's kind of a compliment, right? Sort of like Paris, but green. Oh man, our naval force limit is now 6,300. Whoa! Crazy. Check our ports. Looks like they could use some uh, fort upgrades. That's fine. Let's do it. All the naval bases are pretty much done, but we can at least do the um, fort upgrades too. Protect the naval bases with forts, right? Why not? Portugal still has rebel problems. Poor Portugal. I kind of feel like if, if a player was running Portugal, they would do a lot better um, than the AI running Portugal. Oh well. Ooh. Dreadnought hole. Plus two. Nice. Oh, that's right. We still have some battleships we need to delete. Fucking battleships. You sunk my battleship. Thank you so much. Now we don't have crappy ships in our fleet anymore. Ooh, railroads. 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 That's right, the capitalists won't do this shit anymore. God damn it. Click button. Fort? More fort. Cuba wants to be my friend. Well, if Cuba wants to get in our sphere, who am I to say no, right? Yeah, it looks like there's no competition for Canada. That's great. Not even the USA. Oh, no, I'm take that back. USA is competing very heavily. All right. Turn off New Zealand. Go f just straight for Canada. Can we get there in time? Maybe. Might be able to distract the USA by going for Brazil. That'd be fun. The problem with USA is they border Canada, and we don't, so they get a bonus. And yeah, they're a little bit ahead. Let's see if we can invest in them. Even just a little bit of uh, railroad? Nope, railroads are all done. Can we invest in some factories? No, they don't allow foreign investment. Damn it, Canada. Well, there's nothing I can do then. We don't border them, so we don't get that bonus. Darn it. 
and the Ottomans are losing massively because of battles. And Japan's still at war for, for uh, Sikkim, even though he can't reach it, there's no way he can get there. He's been in that war forever. I wish it would say when the war started, but let's just take a guess, it was about 15 years ago. Organization is probably most useful there. Let's see, tax efficiency, cheaper factories. This would be more expensive factories. This would be fascist rebel organization would be better. But all the other rebels would not be as good. Hmm, another national focus point would be nice though. Education and migration. Let's go for that. Less war exhaustion. Okay, you guys have arrived in Rome. God, we're building so many tanks and airplanes. I think it's way too much. Holy shit, we have 114,000 guys here just attritioning out. My bad. Wow. Oh, no, it's not. It's mostly French. <laughs> the 105,000 was French. We had 9K. Okay, that's not so bad then. Why did no one tell me I had troops in Paris? Lol. Ooh, women's suffrage. You got it. Uh, this will do what? Rich vote goes down, but middle vote, poor vote goes up, and we lose war exhaustion. Okay. I'll take that. The women can now vote. Oh, uh, crap. Looks like we might have to abandon Canada if we want to protect other places. Alright. Sorry, Canada. Not much I can do. USA will sphere them. I'll turn that off. We need to focus on keeping our sphere intact. Oh, fucking hell. Vultures! They're swooping in when I'm busy with Canada. Like, oh look, he's investing in Canada. Hway, hway, hway. Let us go and dick around with all of his sphere. You know what? Fuck you guys. Fuck you all with a rake. Ooh, classics rediscovered. Lose prestige, gain militancy, or all rich people gain consciousness. No, I'm okay with that. Ooh, artillery attack, plus point one. Hmm. We just killed some some priests. Don't worry. They were bad priests. Alright, we need to ban Germany. Bye, Germany. And here we want to ban... Well, nobody, really. And here we need to ban Britain. Crisis in Slovakia. Oh, shit. What is this? Poland? Oh, but it won't be a crisis... This is going to be one of the most bugged ones, where it says, see here, it says Slovakia is going to ask Italy first. It changes the flag of who they're going to ask next, and it should pop up a little thing, but it's never going to ask us. Oh, it did. There we go. Then why did it bug out when Britain had it? Great Britain was over here all alone, and it showed that, um, who was it? Whatever the Indian nation was that wanted United Provinces, it showed they were going to ask Italy, and they never did. Well, we're not going to join against Poland. No way. No, nope. nobody's going to join this shit. Go, Poland! Yep, nobody. No crisis. Serbia has declared war on the Ottoman Empire. There you go. Serbia, you are allied to Germany. Well, let's see who joins first. Let's see if Germany joins. Germany's at war with Moldavia? Oh, yep, Germany joined. Germany has joined. I don't want to fight Germany. 
Not while I've deleted a bunch of my army. Germany has 364 regiments. We have half of that. I'm not going to fight Germany right now. We're, we're rebuilding our army right now. So no, I'm not going to fight that. Uh, I'm going to say no. Sorry, Ottomans. It only cost us 20 relations to decline that. Wow. That's amazing. 20 relations drop because we declined to join their war. Wow, this game is so lenient on relations. It's amazing. So Serbia wants his cores from the Ottomans. Meh. I still think the Ottomans should have joined our war when we were at war with Russia. That would have been amazing. Advanced battleships, nice. I still don't know why Scandinavia backed out of the war with Finland. They were winning it massively. Alright, diplomacy. What are we up to here? Spain. Uh, Spain looks okay, except Britain is being a douche. Portugal looks okay, except we need to decrease Britain's opinion. God, this is so stupid. Austria-Hungary. No, no, no. Stop that. Switzerland's okay. Ottomans are pretty much okay. God. Look away for a second, because I wanted to get Canada. As soon as I look away, everyone starts investing in all this shit. Motherfuckers. Oh my god. We can have 400 regiments, we only have 180. Why we no build enough regiments? Build faster. Oh my god, they are annihilating them. Yep. Acquire southern Serbia. Poor Ottomans. Interesting. Wow, Poland's ahead of France. <laughs> Poland is ahead of France. And uh, let's expand our factories again. Because they need it. They really need it. Wow, we're at 10 million bucks. Uh, we can lower taxes a bit. Wow, we can lower taxes on the poor. Holy shit, we are we are at full spending on everything. Tariffs are at zero. And we have taxes at minimum across the board. Wow. It's almost like we are God. Except not. We're the Pope. Poor Ottomans. Pluralism, please. United States fascist di dictatorship? That'd be hilarious. Alright, what do people want? People want... Unemployment subsidies. Really? Yeah, unemployment subsidies. Alright. You got it. 8% of the people want it. You got it. I certainly have the funds for it. Alright, who, who do we need to kick out? Let's find out. Also, how goes this? We're at um, 0.02. Never mind. Take that out. Uh, what do we use that influence for? Uh, maybe more craftsmen? Sure. More craftsmen. 51% is not enough. More craftsmen. Ooh. No moralism. Fuck that. We want pluralism, baby. Also, I need to get rid of these battleships. For some reason, we have battleships, and they are terrible. Oh my god, we have a lot of them, too. Get out of here. No one likes battleships. What a bad joke. On the boat. Back to Rome. I don't want the National Banking Act. Who's going to win? Looks like the socialists are going to stay in power. Darn it. Yeah, I think the socialists are going to stay in power. Damn it. I don't like this faction. Oh well. I want Jingo. This anti-military crap is crap. Ah, more railroads. Great. Also, Russia has 
reactionaries. Really. And communists at the same time. Oh, and he's got rebels sieging his capital. Oh, now that's interesting. Russia has rebels in his capital. Are we going to get Soviet Union? Come on, Soviet Union. Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, free trade? No, no, no. Fuck free trade. All right, what do we got? Come on, who is this? Poor strata, lose militancy, gain consciousness, or lose consciousness. Ooh. Yeah. Either piss off the middle or piss off the, the poor. Communists in the capital. There you go. We're going to have Soviet Union, people. Nice. They just have to hold it for one year, so July of next year. Great. Oh, Cindy nationalists have enforced their demands in the UK. Let's take a look. Hello, Sindh. Welcome back. We haven't seen Sindh in years. British Afghanistan. Yeah. Britain is occasionally losing lands. Humiliate on Britain. I don't really need it. We want full citizenship? Full citizenship. Yeah, Russia's not unseaging this. Tensions in Moldavia. I don't want infamy. Here's free infamy. I don't want infamy. I'm not even influencing Moldavia. What a joke. All right, so it looks like uh, influence has kind of died down everywhere, which is great. Uh, Ottomans are safe. Switzerland is safe. Spain is safe, and Portugal is safe. So let's go back and see if we can't do Canada. Kanakistan. Let's go. Come on, Canada. We gotta try, right? Uh, interventionalism? Interventionalism, yep. I wonder if we can do it before the USA does. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. Socialist one, again. Fuck you, socialists. I wanted the conservatives, damn it. Wow, France did not waste time. He got Brazil back from the USA, like, super quick. Yes! Poland has declared war on Russia. Go, Poland! Except he's fighting everyone. Oh, my God. Good luck, Poland. I can't join you. I got a truce. He brought Serbia. Wow. Poland, like, I got good allies. I got Serbia. Russia's like, lol. And he brings in Britain and France. <laughs> oh, Poland. El Salvador is bankrupt. Oh, no. Oh. USA dropped us down to cordial. Interesting. I think I'm gonna discredit. Oh, I can't discredit him because he's friendly. Oh shit! Damn it, USA! How dare you! Wow. Oh, Poland's trying for Switzerland. Naughty Poland. Naughty Poland trying for Switzerland. Yeah, Poland might. Poland might win this war because Russia is just full of rebels right now. And Russia will go St. Petersburg uh, come July. They have not unseaged Saint they have not unseaged their capital. So they will go Soviet Union. They will go St. Petersburg. I heard that. I heard myself say it and it sounded fine at the time. Okay, let's get back into friendly with Canada. And then I think we'll discredit the USA. That'll slow them down. Come on. I think I need 25. 
Yeah, 25 to discredit. And wow, Japan keeps declaring war to put people in his sphere. He's taking influence for it. I mean, he's taking infamy for it, too. Wow, Japan, aggressive. It's like, get in my sphere. We discredited the USA. <laughs> France has fallen great power to Scandinavia. Wow. Wow. <laughs> France. Wow. That's kind of sad. Oh shit, Scandinavia is friendly with Portugal? Whoa. Get out of there, dick. War is a racket. Ooh, capitalists in Italy gain militancy and consciousness, or all pops in the Aegean Islands gain militancy. That's probably better. And yeah, discrediting USA has completely stopped them from influencing Canada at all. Wow. Neat. And Poland is sort of winning. Ugh. The problem is Britain and France are gonna siege the hell out of Poland. Yeah, Britain's already here. They didn't waste any time. <sighs> Poland, you need to get yourself some allies who can actually join the war. You know? But he can't. <laughs> Two of his three allies have truces. It's just not the right time to declare. And look at that, just discredit the USA and they stop influencing. That's amazing. Okay, let's upgrade some more factories. Ooh. French poet. No, no, no. Time to kill him. Railroad maximum level go. And of course, supply limit. All right, time to railroad up. Railroad up. Go, 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 railroads. Doink. Doink. Modern battleships, nice. Ah, it's just bonus speed. Eh, speed's fine. Liberty lightning and lightning the world. Okay. The Statue of Liberty. Yeah, well. It's too bad France is in a sad state today. They have been for years. Yep, Japan won their war against Nedged. Big surprise. I'm sure that was a tough war, Japan. Really good fair fight there. He's like, good fight, good fight. With the socialists in power, we have to go individually and upgrade all this shit. Really pain in my butt. Normally, the capitalists do all this stuff for you. Not when the socialists are in power. Please click when I click. You might, United Kingdom wants to humiliate Poland. Well, that shouldn't be very difficult. What a lowly goal. But yeah, this will, this war will knock Poland down from great war stat, from great power status, which sucks. If they're not a great power, they can't do a lot of things. They need to be a great power to do certain things. Uh, now they can't. Poor Poland. Really inopportune time for them to go to war. That was a poor decision on their part. Oh well, what can you do? You can cheer them on and you can hope for the best. That's what you can do. There really needs to be an upgrade all. It's like, 
Do you have 50 million dollars? No, but I got 12 million. Okay, well, let's upgrade everything. Okay, everything is upgrading. I know, we need a build all provinces button. I agree. I'm sure people have asked for it in the past. I know during my China campaign I asked for it. But um, there are not going to be any updates to this game. It's kind of old. There will probably be a replacement. Victoria 3, I imagine. Because this game was rather well received. Dun, dun, dun. But who knows how far down the road that'll be. They're doing Hearts of Iron 4 right now. go. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Yep. That was fun. Now, next month, yeah, Russia is still not unseizing their capital. Next month, this will become the Soviet Union. I wonder if that means they're going to spit out some more lands like they spat out Azerbaijan. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> oh, and who's this? We can turn something into a state. Italian Hail. Alright. Sure. All right, these places, I forgot. There you go. Welcome, Italian Hail. Soviet Union? Come on. Come on, your capital's been held by communists for a year. That's all it takes. No? Will they not collapse? Maybe they won't collapse during a war. Oh shit, that would suck. Come on, collapse. No? So even though their capital's been held for a year by communists, they have not collapsed. All right, well, we'll have to wait until next time. Thanks for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time to see if Russia collapses into the Red Menace. I think they will. And uh, let's see if Poland can win their war. So far, so good. They kicked the British out. Now they just have to see if they can siege enough of Russia for uh, them to surrender. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.